Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to re-roll on World Flipper Global. So first you have to install an emulator of your choice. Do you know that it has to be a 64-bit version or else it will not work? For me, I use the Nox player. So here you can see I have Nox player open and World Flipper installed. You can install it either through the Google Play Store or just download the APK on websites such as apkpeer.com. Okay, so let's do a sample run. So if this is your first run, you'll most likely need to download approximately two gigabytes of data. Afterwards, you can select guest login. Okay. Accept all, and then I usually just unclick the optional ones. Be careful that you do click yes, you want to skip the tutorial. And you'll go straight into picking up a name. For World Flipper, once you skip the tutorial, you can go straight to the summoning section, which is really convenient in a way. So this is the first tutorial poll. Okay. So for the launch bonus, you get 1500 gems right away. And then a four star Arisa. So what you want to do now is go back to the homepage. Claim your login bonuses. And then go to the mailbox. Claim all. Now you should have a total of 5150 gems, which is enough for three multi pulls and four individual pulls. So go to portal, there are three banners at launch. The launch gala banner, which is the, basically the premium banner for pulling your units. There's the exclusive portal, which only appears when you have a four and five star ticket. And then the armament portal, which is pulling for weapons. However, unless you're whaling in the game, I would not recommend that you pull in the armament portal, as they are not quite as strong as the PvE bosses you encounter later on. I'm sorry, I mean the PvE bosses weapons. So unless you're whaling, I would not recommend pulling on this banner. All right, let's do our first multiple. Sha Susu is actually pretty good. It's one of the best three stars in the game. So in World Flipper, when we're rolling, you're obviously looking to get as many five stars as you want. Also, pay attention that you want to start off with units that are of the same element so that you can make a mono color team to start with.
Here I will fast forward so that I, you don't have to watch me do another two more temple. At the end I did not get any 5 star at all. And no more. So usually at this point, you could go back to the portal and do four single summons. However, since I got no five star in three of my multiples, I'm just going to save some time and go straight to resetting the account. Do remember to use your 4 and 5 star ticket if you do end up having a decent multiple. So there's a 5% chance in the, for the ticket to get you a 5 star, which is the same as the rate of for doing regular pulls. It's also 5% and you have 15 5 star at launch. So now that I'm done and I'm not satisfied, what do you do? You go to settings, root the device, and then restart the emulator. So de depending on the emulator that you choose, each will come with like a file manager of choice. So for Nox is the Amaze file manager. So here you want to go to the root first and then data, data, and then you want to look for com.cacaogames.com. WDFP. So usually at the beginning, I would bookmark this page. As you can see here, this is bookmarked. So later on, if when I repeat the reroll process, I don't have to go through the trouble of locating the folder again. Scroll down, look for the shared preferences folder, delete it. Unroot your emulator again because World Flipper will not launch if your emulator or phone is rooted. There you have it. Now World Flipper is fully reset it and you could repeat the reroll process as many times as you could. You could also do this across multiple instances. However, you will have to manually click on each emulator to do the whole root, restart, unroot, restart. There is a synchronized function in most emulators such as LD player and Nox player where you could simulate the clicks on one emulator to all others. So if I were to click on guest login on one of the emulators, all the other instances will also be acting in the same behavior. Well, that's the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.